Some people in Vijayanagar were so lazy that not only did they want to do any work, but they also avoided thinking about work. They even formed a lazy club there, where all the lazy people would gather and spend their days boasting because they didn't want to work. And because of this, all the household chores had to be done by the women. Why did the clouds have to move while I'm sleeping? They won't even allow me to sleep peacefully. Easy peasy. Huh? 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 Please give me some water. I am really very thirsty. Oh, the water is right there. You don't do any work at home. At least pick up the water and drink it yourself. All right, all right. I'll drink it myself. Easy peasy. Huh? <laughs> I am so smart. <laughs> oh, this basket isn't for your luxury. It's for bringing vegetables from the farm. But you only seem to have time for sleeping. Oh, now I have to go myself. <laughs> if we also work, then who will do the talking? Easy peasy. <laughs> hey, Kaveri, did you have to come again today? Why didn't Bridge come? Huh? Bridge? If he could, he wouldn't even eat food using his own hands. Huh? Oh, by the way, why didn't your husbands come? Oh, my husband is no less than Bridge. You won't believe, but I have to pull him out of the bed to get him down. Uh -huh. Everyone is in the same boat. One lazier than the other. Huh? I'm tired of my husband's laziness. He doesn't do a single household chore. I have to do everything. Me too. Same here. We'll have to find a solution for this. Uh, why don't we speak to King Vidyadhar about this? Uh, he will surely help us. Yes, yes he, he will surely help, help us. They wrote down their problems in a letter and sent it to the king. A month passed. But neither did they receive any response, nor did they hear from the king's side. So, there was no change in their lives. <sighs> ah, if I keep walking like this, I'll reach the lazy club too late. Ah, but I can't walk fast either. Otherwise, what's the point of being lazy? <laughs> Now I'll reach easy peasy. Oh, thank you, my friend. Who will start today's story? Bridge hasn't arrived yet. Huh? Here he is, finally. Bridge, I hope you didn't have any problem reaching here. No, no. I came comfortably without any trouble. All right, let's start. Yes, Are yes. Huh? Who is this? <sighs> I have never seen him in Vijayanagar before. He looks like a traveler. Oh, then we shouldn't embarrass ourselves in front of him. Even people from outside should know how amazing Vijayanagar is. And its people are even more amazing. Ah. Ah. Uh, listen, friend. I need to meet King Vidyadhar. But the guards aren't letting me in. Please suggest a way to meet him. I have come from far away. Mm -hmm. hmm. You've come to the right place, my friend. We have the solution for you. What? Do you know the king, my friend? Do I know him? <laughs> I've known Vijayanagar and the king even before my birth. I had the entire map of Vijayanagar memorized before I was born. That's why, as soon as I was born, I reached the palace to meet the king. Are you serious? Absolutely. What's so special about that? 
When I was just a day old, I ran to the king riding a horse. He lovingly sat me down and even had breakfast with me. <gasps> oh, that's hmm? nothing. When I was just a week old, I rode an elephant to reach the king and then I had meals with him as well. Mm. <laughs> what happened, Bridge? You don't believe me, is it? No, no, I completely believe you. But I'm just thinking, you guys are getting so excited over such small achievements. Easy peasy. <laughs> what will happen when you hear my story? Is it so? Please tell me, tell me. You know... When I was just a month old, I flew into the gardens of the palace like a bird. Easy peasy. Seeing me in the garden, the king took me to his palace and seated me on his throne. <laughs> it means you guys really know the king very well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Any doubts? Then the king must also know all of you? Very well! And due to our extraordinary powers, he mm -hmm. also respects us a lot! Then my job is done! W which job, my friend? I work in the royal palace. Recently, a wall of the palace collapsed. And for its repair, we called four men with extraordinary powers because the wall was made of such heavy iron that fixing it was beyond the capability of an ordinary person. But they took gold in exchange for their work and quietly ran away without completing the work. The king has sent me to find them. Uh, oh, really? But we don't know anyone with such extraordinary powers. But I have figured out. Ah, after listening to all these amazing stories from you, I am convinced that you four are indeed those individuals with extraordinary powers who took gold from the royal palace and ran away without completing the work. And now, I will hand you all over to the king and claim the reward. Ah, tell me, where is the king's gold? No, no we didn't, we didn't do, anything. do anything! Please forgive us. We don't possess any extraordinary powers. We are just ordinary people. But you were just boasting about your powers a moment ago. Oh, we just keep telling our made-up stories to people here to avoid doing any work at home. Hmm? Ah, don't say anything to the king. This is our request. <laughs> all right, all right. I won't say anything. But I have one condition. From today, you have to stop making up stories like this and sitting idle like lazy As people. You wish. <laughs> Kaveri understood from the traveler's horse and shoes that it wasn't anyone else but Minister Saranga himself. Everyone was happy because the king had solved their problem. Now everyone had left their laziness behind and the scenario had changed. Huh? Hey, come on, quick! Oh, 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 oh. oh, somebody help! My beard has grown quite a bit, but why bother going to a barber? Easy peasy. Ah. Uh, 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 is anyone there? Anybody there? Huh? Come here quickly! Huh? What happened? Huh? The sun rays are falling right on my face. Could you please place a cloth in between? Easy peasy. 
What? So this is the reason you were shouting? Hmm? Oh, oh, huh? I have seen so many lazy bones, but huh? no one like him, that's for huh? sure. Come on, huh? everyone, let's go back. Such a lazy head. <laughs> Why don't you lend your legs to Mr. Udanka and borrow some money against it? Because these legs are of no use to you anyway. I'm going to serve lunch for us. If you feel like getting up, come and eat some. I have served the food. Do you want to eat it or not? When you've cooked with so much love, how can I not eat this easy peasy? <laughs> it was delicious. Now, are you really going to sleep all day or get up and bring some water from the well? Do you have any idea how hot and humid it is outside? All the wells are completely dry. Easy peasy. Oh, really? And you're so sure about the water in the wells while looking at the sky all day? What a talent. Anyway, forget about the well. At least, will you bring some water from the pond? Huh? What did you say? From the pond, huh? Do you have any idea? How far the pond huh? is from here? Easy peasy. Okay, okay. Do whatever you want. Just bring me the water from somewhere. That's it. You wanted me to bring water from anywhere, right? Here it is. Oh, God, your laziness has no limits. Ah. Uh, uh, oh, no, it's already sunset. Everyone must have arrived. Ah. Oh. Are you feeling more energetic now? Tell me, where are you going? To meet those lazy friends of yours? Uh, uh, you are almost like a sloth. And you have also made the villagers lazy like you. Oh, really? Do you even know that being lazy is actually an art? Hmm? How can you understand this? I'm leaving now. Easy peasy. Hmm. Hey, Bridge, it's you. <laughs> Welcome, come in, sit down. Oh, forget it. Who will make the unnecessary effort to sit down? Easy peasy. Wow, now you are being really lazy. Is this what you call laziness? I don't even make my bed after I wake up in the morning. Since I have to sleep in it again at night, then why even bother? I don't even take out extra plates to eat food. I simply eat from the same utensils the food is cooked in. So I don't have to bother bringing water from the well and washing the dishes. As easy as that. Huh? But at least you walk to the well every day to bring water for cooking. And here I am avoiding the trek to the well for water by not bathing at all. Try to beat that. Are you done boasting about your silly, lazy habits? Hmm. At least hmm. you people have wells at your houses. I am so lazy that even if my beard <laughs> catches fire, I'll think a thousand times before digging a well for water. <laughs> wow, there is really no match for a bridge when it comes to laziness. Fire! Run! Run! Save yourself! Fire! 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 Put down fire! The fire! Somebody bring water! It sounds like there's some chaos in the village. Mm. Oh, just relax. There uh. must be some juggler or a snake charmer passing through. Let's continue with our lazy talks. Easy peasy. Oh, no. Why is it suddenly so hot in here? Hot? But I don't think so. Uh, oh, 
<lacht> Feuer! Oh, oh no, der Rufe sagt Feuer! Run, ich und du sind Hey, wait, wait, why are you running? You are getting worried for no reason. Just wait for a while. It will rain and everything will be all right. Rains? Right now? Why not? And even if it doesn't rain, the wind will blow in the opposite direction and put out the fire. You just wait and watch. Easy peasy. Huh? Uh, we are lazy, but not that lazy. We got to run to save our lives. Run from here! Yeah. Run, uh, run! run. <laughs> Silly people. Go if you want to leave. I'll take a nap till then. Uh, 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 oh, fire! My, my beard is on fire! Somebody save me! My beard is burning! Someone help! Please, now, please your put it beard up. has got fire. Oh, it's water. time for you to consider digging that well. Easy peasy. Mm, no, no, not easy peasy. Hurry up! Quick, somebody please bring the, the water from the pond. The too far away from here. I think we should wait for the rains. Yeah. Uh -huh. How can you people be so lazy? <laughs> the fire is getting out of control and you want to wait for the rain and wind? Easy peasy. Uh -huh. Somebody help me. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm safe now. The fire in my beard is gone. <laughs> you all? Yes, all of us. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if we waited for you lazy bones to act, the entire village would have burned to ashes. That is why we had to put out the fire ourselves. We are extremely sorry. Where are you, dear? Are you listening? Uh, 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 yes, dear. Tell me. What's this? Where did your beard go? <laughs> it's not just the beard. My laziness is gone too. <laughs> <laughs> In a distant land, there was a young man named Madhavan. He had promised himself that if he ever got married, it would be to a girl who is not only beautiful, but also intelligent. In his quest to find such a girl, he embarked on a journey of miles and found that. The beautiful girls were not intelligent, but the intelligent ones were not beautiful. Finally, while searching for his dream princess, he reached Vijayanagar. It feels like I've traveled the entire world, but I haven't found a nice girl. Perhaps I'll have to remain a bachelor for my whole life. Oh, wow, this city is so beautiful. It seems like oh, I will surely find my beautiful princess. Tired and exhausted from the day-long journey, Madhavan lies down to rest in the shade of a tree and falls asleep. I will ask a question like every day, but uh, you need to answer it quickly. Yes, yes, go ahead and ask uncle. <sighs> Today I have also come well prepared. Easy peasy. First bring energy into the body. Then you can give quick answer. <laughs> okay, answer this. If I have a sheep, how can I earn money from it without selling it? To earn money from a sheep, you'll have to sell it. Money is honey, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, it's the wrong answer. <laughs> huh? If you say huh? so, should I give it a try, uncle? <laughs> oh, wow. Is she a girl or an angel? If I had a sheep, I would take good care of it, feed it well and look after its needs. Here you go, we need to make a profit, Aisha. Taking care of her by providing food and water will only lead to a lot of money, honey. <laughs> you need to be a little patient for earning money, uncle. Also, you need to be patient to listen to my answer and I need to be patient until the sheep grows up. Oh. And you know what? Once the sheep grows up and becomes quite healthy, I will sell its wool, milk and dung to earn a good amount of money. It's the right huh? answer. Huh? Huh? 
Amazing! She's exactly like the girl I was searching for while wandering everywhere. Beautiful and intelligent too. Wow, wow, wow. What an answer. Absolutely quick and sharp. <laughs> uh, uh, uncle, ask one more question. Just one more question. <laughs> uncle kept asking questions and Aisha would promptly answer each one. In this way, Madhavan's search for a beautiful and intelligent girl comes to an end. Madhavan marries Aisha and bidding farewell to Vijayanagar, he arrives at his luxurious home with his bride. In the new house, there were always servants around Aisha who don't let her do even the smallest huh? of tasks. Such a luxurious house. This looks like a palace. Now, the same Aisha, who used to roam around the entire village, started relaxing throughout the day without walking a single step. So Aisha started loving her new lifestyle. As time passed, due to excessive comfort and rest, each part of Aisha's body gradually stopped functioning. Madhavan called several doctors and healers to see Aisha, but none of the medicines had any effect on her. Slowly, the news of Aisha's falling ill spread and reached her village, Vijayanagar. I will treat her. I am going and now I will return only after bringing back my old Aisha. All the villagers get shocked mm. listening to the uncle. How can uncle cure someone whom even a qualified doctor couldn't heal? Uncle leaves directly from there and arrives at Madhavan's palace. Uh, uh, uncle, you? Yes, I have arrived. Now don't worry, Aisha. I will make you well before I leave. Oh, thank you so much for coming here. We will do whatever you say. Just please make Aisha better. Absolutely. First of all, I don't trust the food made by anyone else. Why are you saying this? The cook here used to prepare and serve meals to my father, his father and even his grandfather. Uh, but don't worry, if you want, I will cook for her myself. You need not to do that. She will only eat the food made by me. And another thing, no one should be seen around her. Not just a person, but even the shadow of any person shouldn't be seen around her. Not even a shadow? Hmm. Then who will take care of all the household chores? Aisha will do everything. Whether there are maids or not, you will have to keep this house shining like glass. But... Uh... If you have any if or but in your mind, then I will take uh, your leave. No, no, uncle. Please don't go anywhere. I'm ready to do as you <laughs> say. Mm. From the next day, Aisha's entire routine changed as per uncle's instructions. Uncle would cook the food and place it on the top floor, where Aisha had to climb stairs to reach. Additionally, as per the agreement, Aisha had to work hard to clean the house without anyone's assistance. Now, with hard work, the battle against laziness in Aisha's mind was bound to end. As Aisha's laziness went, with each passing day, she started feeling better. Aisha was now physically as energetic and quick as before. But whether her mind had become as sharp as earlier or not, that examination was still pending. Madhavan, you will have to answer one of my questions. But quickly, tell me if you are ready. Oh yes, of course. So tell me Madhavan, if my sister's husband's brother-in-law got married to my cousin, what would my sister be to me? Huh? 
अंकल नो नो आई थिंक ब्रदर इन लॉ आई वॉट अंकल योर सिस्टर विल रिमेन योर सिस्टर वोट शी Absolutely right. Wow, Uncle, you've really done a miracle. You've brought back my old Aisha. <laughs> But how did you manage to do that? I didn't do anything. When she was in Vijayanagar, she used to help the entire village. She would assist people in different corners of the town throughout the day. She was a true example of efficiency, solving complicated problems with ease <laughs> using her intelligence. <laughs> But when you came here, you were used to so much comfort that it made you a rusty lazy bone. I just instilled the habit of staying active as before, and the battle against laziness in your mind ended naturally. So, This was your plan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kaveri lived in Vijayanagar and she owned a piece of very rocky land. She worked day and night to clear the rocks so that she could grow crops on the land. And her husband Bridge was the laziest person you could ever find. <laughs> Who feeds anyone while they are sleeping? Take it easy. If you are now out of your dreamland, why not to go to the field and use the oxen to plow the land? I'll plow it. Take it easy. Hmm. Kaveri luckily got a mango, but the sweet fruits of her efforts still evaded her. One day. As usual, when Kaveri was working in her field, then sister, why are you wasting your precious efforts on this barren land? Why don't you sell it? Okay, let me buy it from you for thousand mudras. Hmm? Is that too little? Okay. Mm -hmm. Why not fifteen hundred? Ah, there is certainly something fishy about his offer. Why would anyone want to buy a barren land? Kaveri's suspicion turned out to be true. Champak was a thief mm -hmm. who wanted to build a tunnel from Kaveri's land to the temple to steal the jewels stored over there. Kaveri quickly thought of a trick. She said, "Brother." This piece of land has been handed down for many generations by our ancestors. There's a secret. Uh, all our ancestors' wealth is buried below this land. Yes, my husband has even found the map of its exact location, and that's why he's sleeping so soundly. Hmm. So you are not digging this land to cultivate it, but to find the hidden wealth of your ancestors. Not hidden wealth, but a bountiful treasure, brother. But this is a secret. Don't you worry, my lips are sealed. I had only come to steal the jewels in this temple, but now I'm going to get doubly rich with this hidden treasure. Let's find the treasure. <laughs> It's not here. It's not here too. <laughs> not here either. I dug up the entire land. Huh? There is nothing here. Thus, using her wit, Kaveri managed to get the thief to do what she couldn't finish for so many uh -huh. days. Uh, how in the world did this happen? A few days later, the barren land had turned into a lush field with a fresh batch of crops. Using the profits from the first batch of crops, Kaveri bought a sari for herself, <laughs> then a pair of earrings, and then for Bridge a silky soft bed. Uh, uh. 
Now, there were many new things in the house, except for the house itself. Oh, no! What do we do with this house? If you have finished building castles in the air, do something about this house. It's creaking and cracking in many places. Yes, yes, I'll think about it. Take it easy. Days, weeks and months passed by. Champak came to Vijayanagar again. And on seeing Kaveri wearing fancy clothes and jewellery, he guessed that she had found the hidden treasure which was buried in her field. Then what happened next was... Huh? Who are you? Just a traveller, sir. I need some place to spend the night. I'll leave at the huh? break of dawn. The swindler had come in disguise. But that did not fool Kaveri. She saw the ring on his finger and immediately recognized him as the thief. <laughs> Please move aside, dear. Kindly wait for a while. The thief was clever, but Kaveri was no less. Listen, tonight we have to go to my aunt's place. Did you what? forget? She's all alone at her house. Uh, but, but, okay, okay, I understand. You are worried about the money and the jewels, right? Do not worry at all. I have hidden them so well in the walls of the house that no one will be able to find them except me. Come on what? now, let's leave. We should not be late. <laughs> Brother, please look after the house. We'll be back in the morning. Don't worry, sister. Soon after Kaveri and Bridge left, the thief started his work. <laughs> Poor fellow. Spent the entire night breaking down all the walls to find the hidden jewels and gems. <laughs> but the only thing he found were rats. <laughs> And ants. <laughs> and tears rolling down his eyes. <laughs> my house, my precious house is no more. <laughs> Now where will I rest? Take it easy. <laughs> this house had already turned weak. Uh, How long what? would the plastered mud have lasted? And to build a new one, the old one had to be destroyed. Uh, and it would it? have cost a lot to destroy an old building. Yes. You should be glad that the thief uh -huh. did all this work for us free of cost. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that's how, for the second time, Kaveri fooled the thief into doing her work. Kaveri's new home was built. The thief returned a third time to take his revenge. But in a different disguise. Buy some bangles, buy glass ones, buy wood ones, buy one you like the most. Uh, uh, mm, the ring. This is the same cunning thief. I have to get rid of him once and for all. Sister, will you only stare at the bangles or will you buy some? Uh, oh, I have to buy many, not some. Uh, just wait a minute. I'll be back soon with the mudras. This time I'm not falling for any of her tricks. I'll look at it myself. Uh, 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 where are the mudras? They were placed somewhere here. Can't find them here too. Oh, so this innocent sister, fearing uh, thieves, has hidden the uh, money in the trees. <laughs> oh dear, what shall I do? I can't find any of the mudras. <laughs> Brother, I can't remember where I have kept all the mudras. Next time you're here, I'll definitely buy some bangles. Why next time, sister? Here, you can keep the entire lot for free. Huh? Kaveri, where is he going after giving you his entire stock of bangles? To search for wealth in the trunk of the trees. He's the same thief. This time I've played such a trick that I'm sure he'll never huh? return. 
He'll be dead before he finishes searching all the trees. <laughs> he would have if there was one. Instead, he found swarms of ants. And in some, there were snakes. Snake! And in some others, there were spiders. And in some, they were beehives. <laughs> If you like this video, subscribe to our channel, Murti Media.